This is Valley News Live. At Capital Credit Union, we're invested in growth. The growth of ideas, dreams, and potential. Because we care about our members' goals, no matter how big or small. And we're proud to give back to the communities we love. Join us. Visit capcu.org to become a credit union member today. Capital Credit Union. Grow with us. Hi, I'm Paul Barnum. And I'm Graham Barnum. We're pleased to announce we've teamed up with Jacuzzi Bath Remodel to replace that ugly tub or shower. From full tub or shower replacement to deep soaker tubs, jacuzzi tubs, or that freestanding tub you've always wanted, we've got you covered. For a limited time, we're offering half off installation and 12 months no payment financing with approved credit. Take advantage of this offer and schedule a free quote today. ABC Seamless and Jacuzzi Bath. Better products, better installation, and a better warranty. We know the importance of your time and work. You got none of one thing and too much of the other. And we're right here with you, working hard to build equipment that keeps up. Bobcat Equipment. Join us at 6.30 to stay up to date on all of your local news and weather. Valley News Live at 6.30, weekdays on KX4. When it comes to new and quality used trucks, look to Luther Family Ford. Tonight's weather brought to you by Tobolt Seed. Get your high premium non-GMO soybean contract for 2024. Tobolt Seed. Let's grow together. All right, everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us here on this Tuesday evening. Mostly sunny, mostly clear. Great conditions for that evening commute. Heading out to any activities for your evening. Temperatures, though, on the cooler side where they've been all day today. We're at 68 here in Fargo. Winds are light, though, out of the east at just six miles per hour. Moorhead currently at 64. Grand Forks, 65, just a little bit warmer with mostly sunny skies and light winds at five miles per hour. Temperatures around the valley have been only in the 60s for today. We're now down to 58 in Baudette and Bemidji. Again, 68 here in Fargo. We've been the warm spot today. 63 in places like Devil's Lake, Langdon, and up into Roseau. Satellite and radar showing mostly quiet, mostly clear conditions. A few lingering clouds in our far easternmost counties, but those will be clearing here over the next couple of hours as well. Now, tonight we'll be watching for a couple of things. Development of patchy fog by tomorrow morning and where the cloud cover moves in. Clouds will be gradually increasing from the west to the east overnight, but they're not going to infiltrate the entire valley. Meanwhile, patchy fog is anticipated in parts of the Central Valley and perhaps portions of Lakes Country as well. Where we are really watching is parts of northern Minnesota, northwestern and north central Minnesota for the potential for frost development. Now, none of our forecast models show temperatures in the 30s, but with our atmospheric conditions that we have, the clear skies, the light winds, temperatures already cool, I fully anticipate temperatures to be dipping into the even mid 30s in parts of northern Minnesota. Then heading into the rest of our morning, clouds start to increase and the wind picks up out of the south and east. That's going to mix out any fog through the morning hours and a few clouds as well. Temperatures are going to struggle again because of cloud cover and a little bit of that breeze. A little warmer than we've been today, though, expecting upper 60s to lower 70s. Brief clearing in the afternoon before additional cloud cover late Wednesday night ahead of our next weather system. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But as for the cool temperatures in northern Minnesota, because of the anticipated temperatures to dip as low as about 34 degrees in spots, the National Weather Service has issued a frost advisory that begins at 3 a.m. and continues until 9 a.m. tomorrow. Temperatures for tomorrow afternoon, again, generally in the 60s, in some areas in the low 70s. Come Thursday comes our next chance for some rain. So through the morning, some hit and miss light showers with more of the more soaking type showers later in the afternoon, generally after about 4 o'clock east and south with a better potential for thunderstorm activity just to our south and east, but we'll be watching it closely in the next coming days. Rainfall potential not expected to be too beneficial 
up to a half an inch in isolated areas. Then through the rest of the week, temperatures do warm back up starting on Thursday. Many days in the 70s to even near 80 degrees before a next chance of some isolated thunder late next week. The sunshine feels nice, so it feels different with the sunshine mm -hmm. today than it did yesterday. Really good, yes. yes. Thanks, Summer. Later on Valley News Live at 6, what farmers and ranchers have to say about the new farm bill coming up in just two minutes.